Hello everybody and welcome to another trading card unboxing video. This time we've got the Pokemon trading card game trainers toolkit box. And when I saw this, it, it in reality it looked really out of place because it, it, the packaging looks kind of generic and doesn't really stand out to you uh, as something Pokemon. But I suppose maybe it's it's just because it is a trainer's toolkit. It's supposed to look like something anybody could pick up uh, and use for the trading card game. So much like the Elite Trainer box that we had, uh, this is supposed to have more than 50 useful cards to power up your decks, including dozens of trainer cards and two Daydane GX cards. Uh, special versions of Pokegear 3.0, Pokemon Communication, and Reset Stamp with all new art. So we've got some special cards that are exclusive to this pack here. Uh, we've got more than 100 energy cards, including special energy. Now, I'm not sure if that means special art, or I'm pretty sure there's literal special energy cards. Uh, this also comes with four Pokemon trading card game booster packs and 65 card sleeves to protect your deck. The rest of the things are for playing the game, like a deck builder's guide, a uh, trading card game rule book, set of seven, seven tournament legal dice, two condition markers, and a code card for the tr Pokemon trading card game on line. So I got this at Walmart and I've never opened it, so today that's exactly what we're going to do. And as usual, I don't have nails, but it came open pretty easily. Alrighty. Slide this off. You got a nice little box. Everything you need to build a powerful deck. So does this slide out further or where do I, where should I, oh it just, it just opens like this. Very nice packaging I must say because it it's it's nice in a way that you know you could put your entire deck back in here once once you're done. Uh, so off the bat we've got our dice. Pretty nice looking dice, very sparkly dice right there actually, very much like that. Uh, so that's for, you know, Pokemon game dice rolls uh, to determine damage. We've got our uh, status tokens. So again, I believe it's poison and burn that these apply to. Uh, I might not be 100% correct on that. Uh, we've got, oh, those are very nice, the sleeves for, uh, for your cards. Very nice, because it's 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 you know it's got different elements of the trading card game. You can really tell that these are meant for Pokemon cards. Very much like that, and I probably will use uh, some of those. Uh, we've got our code card, which I'm going to keep the code for. Uh, we've got this stack of cards, and I believe like these are the powerful cards for for your deck. So these are preset, uh, and you can actually see. On the bottom, we've got our dating GX that's guaranteed in there. So I think all of the cards that show up in this are meant for like the trainers. So this won't be randomized is what I'm trying to say. We've got our stack of our energy cards. Very big stack of energy cards. Now I usually just keep one of each uh, iteration, so I don't know if I'll be keeping all of these. Uh, but we will open it, as usual to see uh, some of our special energies. But before we get to opening that, uh, let's go with what else we have in here. We have uh, four trading card game packs, and we'll be opening each of these in the video. So we got 40 cards here. Could get some, some good stuff. Uh, we've got our rule book, which I'll definitely read. <laughs> I've never known properly how to play the game. Uh, and then we've got our Trainer's Toolkit uh, Deck Builder's Guide. And I'm assuming it just details the cards uh, that kind of just come in the pack that we've got here. Because uh, it mentions, like, it specifically mentions Energy Switch. There's two of those. Uh, electromagnetic Radar. So we're going to look through, and I do believe this is just to detail, you know, how to use what you get in this pack. So, first thing that we're going to do... So we're going to open up this energy pack. We're going to see what uh, what some of these special energies might be. All right. Toss that trash to the side. So, like I said, we got energies. We got dark, water, fairy, which I don't know if they've fully retired yet or not. Uh, steel, fighting, and I'm just saying generic ones that I know 
go into those energy types, uh, grass, fire, psychic, electric, and then it seems to uh, repeat. And most of these are the same designs, but I'm trying to find out here uh, if there's any specific special energies like they said. Well, we've got many uh, energy cards, very crucial for if you actually play the trading card game. So it is good that it gives you all of these. Personally, I don't play the game, so I don't use energy cards, but I do still dedicate uh, a couple pages in my binder to, you know, each different energy card uh, that I have. I'm not seeing any specific special energies in here. So I'm not sure uh, what it refers to as a special energy. Because we just went through it all and there wasn't... Uh, actually, yeah, there's no colorless energy looking at this entire pack here. We've got, we've got every other type here, but there's no colorless. And I thought that that might be, you know, what they regard as special was specific colorless energies, but we do not have any in this pack. So the special might just be the, the graphic design on them. Interesting. Very interesting that they don't have the colorless because that's, that's one of the key uh, elements in the trading card game. But there's a big stack of energy cards. I don't play the game, so I probably won't use these, but I will keep some of them. Uh, next, we're going to open up this pack of cards here. Uh, we already see that we've got a Dating GX, and they're very cute, very adorable card. I, I love the colors on that, and I love the little art style of Dating. I think he's super cute, even though he's, you know, a Pikachu wannabe. But let's open this up and see what our new, essentially, deck is uh, for the Pokemon trading card game. So... Uh, I'm not doing the four-card trick just because I don't know how this uh, entire thing is stacked. And at the top here, we've got Data and GX anyways. And we've got our two copies of that. Because again, it said we, it gives you two. Uh, I'm most likely just going to keep one of these, but I still very much like the card. Uh, we've got a Mallow and Lana. Two of those. Tag team. Now, I've never understood what the tag team cards are. Or I don't know if it's just, you know, special art or if they've actually served specific meanings in the uh, trading card game. Either way, we've got Boss's Orders. We've got Pokegear 3.0, and I believe this is the alternate art they were talking about. Uh, we've got a Quick Ball, a Fire Crystal, some Rare Candy, an Energy Spinner. That's right, Pokemon did Fidget Spinners first. A uh, Switch, a uh, Tool Scrapper. A metal saucer, a speed plus energy. Oh, so here's here's some of the special energies. They're actually in here. They're not in uh, the energy deck that we had. Uh, we got a welder, reset stamp. A lot of these cards I've never actually even seen before. So this is this is turning out to be a very good buy. Uh, ordinary rod, uh, Pokemon communication. I believe again this is specifically uh, alternate art. We've got Marnie. An air balloon, Turfield Stadium, Vitality Band, a giant hearth, twin energy, and now we're getting uh, some of those colorless energies that I thought, you know, we should have had in the energy pack. I'm not sure entirely why they decided to split those up between an energy pack and, you know, the deck, but I'm, I'm glad that we're seeing some special cards here, too. Uh, Green's Exploration. We got a Tool Scrapper, Aurora Energy, Professor's Research, another Welder, an Evolution Incense, another Speed Electric Energy, Reset Stamp, a Fire Crystal, and, and this is going to be majority of, uh, of just trainer cards and all that because they, they, you know, you're getting the monster cards from the actual packs here. And I know you, I called them monster cards, which is the term for Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, but I've just always called, you know, cards with the Pokemon on them monster cards. Uh, so Boss's Order, Marnie, Rare Candy, Quick Ball, Pokemon Communication, and another Pokegear 3.0, a Switch, Metal Saucer, 
Aurora Energy, an Energy Rod, Vitality Band, another Twin Energy, Professor's Research, Turnfield Stadium, Energy Spinner, Evolution Incense, Giant Earth, Green's Exploration, and it looks like our last card here is another Air Balloon. So that's what you get from like the little deck there, because so these seem to be the dedicated cards. Uh, so it's not actually, you know, what I thought outlined here in the Trainer's Toolkit, because I see uh, the Trainer's Toolkit mentioned like Zapdos and all that. So it looks like it's for a specific deck if you want to build, it's telling you to use these. So now we'll get into what everyone's really waiting for, which is the packs of cards. We've got a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows, a Sword and Shield, a Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, and another Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Now, as usual, I do usually go by release date, uh, but I do think because we've got two Rebel Clashes that I'm actually going to start with these because they're the same line of cards. So we might get some duplicates here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the nicer look one. I prefer... Uh, I can't remember the name of the Pokemon, but I prefer much more to Grookey's Final Evolution. So let's see what we've got in these packs. And now this, I will do the four card trick for, and we got a code card, which I flip to the side. And then one, two, three, four. Flip. We got a Fire Energy, a Durant, an Electrode, a Tool Scrapper, a Shinx, a Galarian Yamask, an Applin, which believe it or not, that's a dragon, <laughs> a Hatena, an Aerocuda, a Reverse Hollow Palpito, very nice looking card there, and our final is a Hollow Appleton, very nice. We've got our nice uh, ev evolution of Applin. And it's a hollow rear, so that's, very, that's a very nice looking card. Not a bad start, not a bad start for our first pack here. So next we've got our other Rebel Clash with Star's uh, Groupie's Final Evolution, which I can't remember the name of at the moment. We got a code card, which I'll put to the side. And then one, two, three, four. So we've got our Fighting Type Energy, our dub, a Dublade, Heracross, a Capacious Bucket, that's fun to say actually, Capacious Bucket, uh, a Shinx, a Roly Coley, so it's, we're, we're getting some good uh, variety here between two of the same packs. But there we go, a duplicate, we've got an Applin again, uh, we've got another Hatena, a Magikarp, a horror energy. I've never heard of that. And it's the uh, reverse hollow. Very nice card on that. I, but I've never heard of, you know, a psychic energy being a horror energy. That's very interesting. And now what's our final? Oh, nice. We got a Dragapult V card. Very, very nice there. Completely shiny. What a beaut. And that was just off of just a regular... Uh, Rebel Clash Pack. That ended up being very nice find. I definitely don't have that. Uh, the reason I, I don't have a whole lot of like the Sword and Shield, the Sun and Moon, is I got off of collecting cards for a long time, uh, and I just never got back into it. But doing these videos, uh, I am finding it more and more exciting to open up packs again. And so, uh, so I find a lot of cards that I genuinely just don't have. Uh, if the camera will focus, we're going to open up our Sword and Shield pack next. Just because we're sticking with the uh, the theme of opening up the Sword and Shield packs first here. Had some trouble, but we got it. Oh, cards don't want to come out, though. There we go. So we've got a code card put to the side for myself. And then one, two, three. So we've got an uh, Grass Energy, a Drizzile, or Drizzle, but I feel like it's Drizzile just because I-L-E, uh, an Evolution Incense, which we saw in those trainer packs there, 
uh, Salazzle, the Silicobra, a Blipbug, a nice gold Dean there, Yamper, an adorable little guy, a Scorapy, a Reverse Hollow Minchino, very nice, like the, the Hollow Shine goes very well uh, with the art on that card. I, I like that quite a bit, actually. Uh, but our final card is a Hollow Galarian Obstay Goon. Very nice shine, but I think we've gotten this in, uh, in one of our previous videos here. Regardless, that was our, uh, our Sword and Shield pack. So we've got our final pack here, our Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. Uh, and I'm hoping to get a card with this guy on it. Can't remember his name. Mythical Legendary uh, introduced in the Kalos region, I want to say. And I don't believe I've ever had a card with him on it. So it would be nice to find him in this pack. We will see if today is our lucky day. Code card, put it to the right, and then one, two, three, four. We've got our fighting energy, uh, our bodybuilding dumbbells, an acerola, a dusclops, a uh, mudbray, a magikarp, an alolan rattata, a panpour, a Caterpie, and we've got a Reverse Hollow Alolan Vulpix, very nice card there. I'm very, I've, I've always liked the Alolan Vulpix just because it's it's such a drastic change, fire to ice. It's uh, like the complete opposite of typing. I think that's a cool, cool change that they did there. And our final card, ah, it's just a rare Electivire. Electivire. Very nice card though, nonetheless. I still, you know, I, I like my hollows and reverse hollows, so I very much like the alone ball picks, but still nice to get a rare card. Uh, we're always guaranteed one, but so very, very appreciative of a good rare. So that was everything from the, what was it called? The Trainer's Toolkit box. Uh, so that is, you know, it, it gives you enough to get into the card, the trading card game. And like I said, uh, with all the energies and trainer cards, they do make it quite easy to, you know, start building up a deck and, and get into the game. So I, I understand now uh, the generic like design of it. Anyone can pick it up. It's meant for, you know, it's a trainer's toolkit. Anyone knows what a trainer's toolkit is. So, with that being said, that is everything for the trainer's toolkit box. Uh, got a nice, nice little amount of cards here. I think I can zoom in more in future videos of this. I've been I've been doing these uh, just over and over unboxing videos like this for a little while now, uh, and I think I can zoom in a little more. But I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the unboxing video so far. There's plenty more to come uh, because I've got so much just backed up that I have not opened. Uh, but I very much enjoyed uh, this. I love I love these card sleeves. Definitely gonna use those. Uh, but thank you all very much for watching. Uh, there's plenty more to come. More Pokemon. Got some Yu-Gi-Oh! Some Card Fight Vanguard is coming too. So thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.